everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back down on this level of the house today. It has been dry outside, but super, super windy. As a matter of fact, when I showed up here this morning, the tarp that we put on the roof was starting to tear off on the back corner. It's been steadily getting a little less windy throughout the day, but the next several days are still going to be a little bit breezy. But today, there was absolutely no way I was going to be uh, handling foam pads because they're big, they're giant kites. It just would not have worked very well. If I could have done it at all, it just would have been, it would have taken so much longer to do because you, you can't just take a foam pad and put it down somewhere and work. You have to put it down, put weights on top of it and blow away. Just really inefficient. So today we're working in here and you can see we've got the entire ventilation system under the floor done. Back to your right is the new stuff that we're just doing today. And uh, Josh, uh, he just took off a little bit ago, but he's been spending the whole day shoveling this uh, gravel material in. Here's a pile that he's got right here. And he's been filling in all these areas. As we've been filling them in, we've been trying to fill in uh, sort of uh, in parity between the two sides of these uh, vents because if you filled up on one side and it was empty on another and you start compacting it, it's going to push the blocks over. So uh, we've been kind of filling them up equally uh, throughout the, the whole area and it's been going pretty well. I know a lot of people have, uh, and I, a lot of people have in real life here on, on uh, I was going to say on, this, on the set, <laughs> but I mean uh, at the work site, people have come in and suggested, oh you're crazy to do all that stuff by hand and I know I'm going to hear comments about like, oh you know you can do it so much faster if you have power tools. All right, you know, or, you know, excavator buckets and everything, and uh, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, that that's totally true. Uh, that you know, things move faster when you have machinery. But the way that we had to execute this was that we couldn't put down the foam and we couldn't build all these tubes until the house was kind of covered up, so that we weren't getting water in here because otherwise it would have turned into a swimming pool once we put down all the plastic. So we we really had to have this area kind of covered and made it difficult to get any large uh, equipment in here. Uh, you know, I'm, I bet you could have figured out some way of doing it, but you know, the fact that something can be done with machinery doesn't necessarily mean that you must do it with machinery. And the way that we've been doing it, uh, because machinery is really expensive, and just having Josh and myself do it, uh, you know, by hand, using one shovel at a time, you know, grabbing it from over here, bringing it over to where it needs to go, and giving it a few little steps down here. Uh, the, way, the fact we've been doing it that way, and I have been advanced, I've used a bucket occasionally when we're going all the way across like I just did. I, you know, fill up a bucket here and dump it over there. Uh, the fact that we are doing it that way, you know, I, I think I've saved a lot of money because power equipment is really expensive, uh, and uh, doing it this way, it's, you know, it's a little bit cheaper. Sure, it's slower, but we get free exercise uh, out of the deal. And, um, you know, I think it's worth considering that, like, I think people kind of get, oftentimes get addicted to the idea that, you know, if there's a, a power tool for something, you must use the power tool for it. Um, and maybe you can, and I use plenty of power tools here on the build site. I've got hand saws, but mostly I'm, whenever I can, I'm using power saws to, you know, it just makes everything go faster. Um, but just the simple fact that a power tool exists for something doesn't mean that you must do it that way. And this has been working out pretty well for us. Again, a little bit slower, but slow and steady is getting us there. As we've been going, we've also been packing it down. And that's one of the nice things about doing it manually by hand, is that it goes a little slower. So as we put down a layer of it, we're, we're constantly walking back and forth. We're packing the stuff down. So, you know, it may seem a little inefficient. You're doing a lot of trips, but every trip, you're packing this stuff down. If we were doing it with big buckets and stuff, you know, you'd have to pay, you'd still have to kind of stop and, and pack it down as you go. Um, but you know, we've been doing our feet, and we've been using these tools. I think uh, you guys saw this one that I made out of scrap the other day, just a fence post with a piece of pressure treated, you know, to kind of stomp things down. This is one that my dad had made, and he's letting me borrow it. Uh, he made it for a similar purpose. Uh, it's just out of wood, and he's got some diving belt weights on here. His is a little heavier, and it's got a wider footprint so I like it better, <laughs> but they both work. And the point is, is that there are a lot of correct ways of doing things. You know, just because there's one way of doing something that someone might prefer, doesn't mean that all the other different ways are necessarily worse. There's pros and cons to every approach that you decide to uh, utilize uh, when you're getting to an end goal, and it's really up to you to decide which are the, you know, the pros and the cons, the benefits and the downsides that, you know, you want to choose for your project. So that's it. We're just continuing on with this, trying to get this all filled, uh, filled in. Next couple days, when the wind starts dying down, we'll be back up on the roof doing foam. That's it. Thanks for watching.